Right then, it's time to get a little bit more advanced and take a look at customizing Myriad. Now, this is customizing Myriad for your own personal login. It's not a global wide setting. We take a look at more of the global system administrator settings in another course. If you're into that, then uh, do take a look at the Myriad course for system administrators. But uh, tools and customize Myriad, that is for your own personal login. You can see we're logged in as P squared here at the moment. So to get to the customize window, you go tools, customize Myriad. And that brings up the uh, the dialog box and you've got three main areas where you can customize myriad itself the audio wall and the appearance of the actual the whole piece of software down here you can reset to default so if it all gets a little bit too much for you reset there and that will reset everything choose language myriad uh, playout is available in a variety of languages and you can get to those languages just by selecting change language see here Arabic French German Italian Norwegian Polish Spanish and Swedish and so you can change the language and that will change all of the wording down here so let's take a look myriad is the first one that comes up by default and instant cart options display the instant carts using enhanced mode that is on by default and uh, that just basically shows shows more details on the carts Clock option, display today's date in the clock strip, so today's date can fit up there as well. And use speech synthesis for announcing selections. That's it. if you've got some accessibility issues uh, with some of your members, you can set that up and then um, the speech synthesis will announce selections of the display to uh, help with uh, playing audio and uh, finding stuff. So that's uh, one of the accessibility options. Into log display for Myriad and various display options display the notes in the information panel double the height of the selected highlight log item display pictures from the carts that's the album artwork display cart numbers on the log and display edited times on the log as well so you can choose to have those off these ones are all on by default you can use a custom log display so you can choose the uh, fonts and the colors and things like that the display log items seg type so you've got simple shapes, you've got classic, simple shapes and advanced. By default, it's simple shapes, but just have a little play around. Switch back to following the log 60 seconds after 60 seconds of inactivity. So if you were to scroll further in the log and then just not touch it after 60 seconds, it will go back to home in the log. So that's what that one means. So that's the Myriad folder file uh, into audio wall you've got navigation so you can make the carts bigger smaller wider taller you can change the font fonts for all of it fonts for the instant carts as well um, other options the personal cart range this is where uh, if you were to click on the home button where you would jump to so if we change this to be uh, 300 to uh, well let's have it as 300 to 400 and then that way, when we click on home, that will jump to 300. Also, if we were to go down to the record button and click on record and we had an available cart within that range, it would start recording into that. You can choose to initially display the last cart viewed or initially display a specified cart. So when you first log in, you can get it to jump to maybe your cart 300 or leave it on your last viewed cart. And then variety of different options down here. Audio wall display, allow carts to be copied or moved by drag and drop. It speaks for itself really, you can highlight a cart, drag it over to another place and it will be moved. You can drag it and hold down the control key and it will be copied. Display pictures on each cart, so you can have the album artwork on there if you wanted to. Instant cart options, we've already been into here once before when we were playing around with instant carts. And uh, this option you might want to tick, this is restart playing instant carts if triggered again. It saves firing off a second one. Uh, display pictures on each instant cart as well. Player options, display pictures on the cart player, display waveforms if available on each cart player. When searching the audio wall, search all the notes, search the copyright, extra information. Uh, smooth edit options, these ones are quite useful sometimes. Open the audio for editing immediately and set the focus straight to the waveform. So this one will ignore the preview and it will go straight into the audio editing features. And then this one sets the focus straight on the waveform so that the minute it opens in Smooth Edit, you can hit the space bar and start playing the audio. So they may be ones that you want to play around with. 
ejecting and recording. You can choose what happens when ejecting a cart, whether it fades the cart um, when using the keyboard to eject, fade the cart when using the mouse and how long the fade takes, or only allow carts to be ejected from players when paused or queued. So you can set that in there. Also, when recording new audio, level triggered recording, always use a trigger threshold of 10%. And you can turn that off to say never use, ask first, or always use. So that's if you're just recording some audio straight off the desk. It will only start recording once the audio reaches a certain threshold. So that's the audio wall into appearance and this one's quite simple really. It changes the whole appearance of uh, Myriad itself. So you can uh, change change how, how it looks, change the colors to different uh, formats and uh, yeah, it basically changes all, all of the colors for you behind. Uh, you can also change text and all sorts. So just have a little play around there and uh, that's in the appearance and that's an example tab so you can change how things are and then when you're happy then that click on OK. So again that is a customization for a per user level so only you will have the audio wall looking the way that you want it so you might want it with large carts with large font that kind of thing and it'll only affect your login so if you have a unique login then uh, customize away if you don't then well maybe consult someone else first